So it's about I was in it. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video. Um, we started a few um, a few days ago. We started um, something called like short tips on Photoshop, CorelDRAW, um, CapCut, and stuff like that. So today we're going to be looking at two amazing tools, and one is the Patch tool, and the second is the Clone tool. So um, the Patch tool and the clone tool, they do similar things, right? But they are not the same. So patch tool is just like the word itself, patch. So let's say there's a defect in a particular part of your image, right? What the patch tool does is it just picks that image. Then whenever, wherever you take it to, wherever you take that patch tool, it copies the characteristics of that new place and it attaches to the part that needs to be patched. Why for the clone tool, similarly like the patch tool, First of all, you first pick up a characteristics or a part of your image, then you paint it across the new part where you'd want to like edit or something. But I mean, it's all theory, but I'm just talking. So let me just show you um, how it works. So for most of us, I know you would have definitely used it severally, but you know, it's just for those that are probably you've been trying to understand the difference between the two. This is just a simple way to explain it. So this is a portrait of myself. Um, yeah, very, 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 very good looking. <laughs> I pray. Anyways, so we want to, we have spot alien brush, we have alien brush, we have patch and we have our clone tool. So under here we have the patch tool and under here we have the clone tool. So you know what, we'll, we'll just look at both the patch tool, the clone tool and the soft alien brush. Now, when you click on soft alien brush tool, if I reduce the size of the, if I reduce the size of the radius using my um, left parenthesis, and you let me just zoom in. If I zoom in, let's say you, you can see this um, black dot, right? Like in Betmark kind of. So if I take my patch, uh, my soft, my spot alien brush tool. So just like naming implies, it uses a particular spot. So if I brush across, you can see that it has taken away that part. But it's not so perfect because you can still see some shade of black. So you might have to still keep brushing and putting it, it's gone, right? So that's spot alien. Now patch, when you click on patch, you would see this, you see your cursor, cursor changes to this. And what you want to do is you select this particular part and then you can just adjust. Now you can see that it does, you know, it has been uh, edited. Now, there's another way to go about it that would give you a final edit. So what you can do is when you select that part, you can just, instead of dragging, you can just um, swipe across. So do as if you want to drag, but don't release your mouse. So you just take it up, take it up, take it up, and release your mouse, take it up, release your mouse. That way, as it is changing the path you need to edit, it is also making sure that the entire design, the entire um, spot, like merges or blends well with the rest of the image. So, for example, let me give you a better example. Let's say we want to remove this eyebrow, and in normal day we want to use spot alien brush to remove uh, your eyebrow. It might be a bit um, taxing because you know it might look very very rough. I mean, it looks nice actually, it looks nice. So, but let's say we use a patch tool, and instead of you doing the first and um, the second way I did it. You just picked it and you took it somewhere else. You can still see this dark shade. So, but if you don't want to see that dark shade, just select the patch and just drag up like that. Keep dragging until... I mean, it looks very off, right? But you can keep selecting and then drag as well. So at some point, I, I personally feel sometimes I mean, it depends on the complexity of your image. Sometimes spot alien brush works, sometimes patch works, right? But the difference between that and the clone tool now is this. Let's go to the clone tool. This is our clone stamp tool, right? So reduce the size of the radius. Now, what you want to do is hold down Alt. The moment you hold down Alt, your cursor changes to this, um, like a circular eyedropper. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to pick a particular point or a particular spot of that image that you want to copy. So let's say I want to copy this area. So right when I hold down, if I release my alt, you can see that it is back to the clone. So if you hold down alt, you want to look for the spot where you want to like pick from. 
So let's say I pick from this, I select this part. So you just use your mouse to select. Then the moment you come to where you want to brush, you can see that it is brushing it. And so looking at that plus sign, anywhere the plus sign is, it attaches whatever it is that is gotten there to this other part, right? And I mean, clone works sometimes, but in most cases, it's best to just um, use it in a different way. So for example, let me give you an example. If I say, okay, I pick this side and I keep brushing. Now watch what will happen. The moment, let me show you something. The moment I, let's say I pick close to this side. And the moment I just um, go up here, you can see that it selects the air as well. So it is not really like, it is not really a perfect tool to use when it comes to this aspect of design but it works well in other cases so for example if i reduce the size of this thing and i select i hold down where's my clone tool my clone tool and i hold down halt to select this particular parts right if i just brush across you can just brush across like that Like it makes it very easy to blend well. Yeah, now my my eyebrow is gone. So, but yeah, I mean, for me personally, when I'm working on any form of manipulation, I always try to use these three tools together: the spot alien brush tool, the patch tool, and also the clone tool. Because they, I think for me personally, they work hand in hand. So one does not work more than the other, if I can put it that way. And that's why I joined this um, tool together in this tutorial. Because I believe that if you are using the patch tool, you would definitely want to include the spot in lane brush tool and also the um, clone tool. Now for the patch tool again, I mean, let's say we remove this mount, right? I will place it here. You can see this. Then you can now use your clone tool. Where is my clone tool? Now you can pick your clone tool, right? Then you can just select this part and just brush yeah exactly then you can then take your spot alien brush and just brush across the side let's see if it doesn't give us something terrible oh my god that's terrible let's use our Part, part two so i'm just going to brush across like that like that like that i mean my skin color has my skin has a lot of color going on so if you're working on a white person's skin it's it's going to be easier like because i mean it's usually especially if it's a model it's very easy for you to just select a particular pattern you know there's nothing going on so much like that I mean, this looks very weird, like very, very weird, but you get the idea. So anyways, let's go back to where we were. All right. And I'm going to return this back. All right. Deselect. So yeah, that's basically all about um, spot in brush to patch to and also clone to clone to. It depends on what you're using it for. So for example, this, select this part, let me just select this part, just wipe it off. It works, but also you can use your spot alien brush to wipe it off. It works as well, or you can use your patch to select, it works as well. So yeah, that's, that's just basically um, all about the tool. There are a lot of things you can also do with with the tool itself well i mean just in terms of uh, basic photo manipulation these are these are the ways in which i use um spots in a brush to patch tool and also um clone tool so yeah we're going to be talking more on other tools and you know doing some other designs and stuff like that and if this resonates with you um just give me a like comment and subscribe i'm going to see you guys uh next time